if you want to see more topics then check the playlist section of this channel also if you want to buy my notes then check the link in the description below in this video we will see an example on sinusoidal steady state analysis nodal analysis question determine vx in figure here for this circuit we have to find the value of this vx by using nodal analysis solution first of all we will take this circuit from here now let's assume this as a reference node so this is a reference node and this node is let's say this is node v1 let's assume all the currents towards the reference node let's say this is current i1 and this is current i2 now we will apply kcl at node v1 so let's apply kcl at node v1 so according to kirchhoff's current law summation of all the currents entering a node is equal to summation of all the currents leaving the node now here at this node the entering current is 3 at an angle 0 degree ampere this is the entering current at this node so let's write it here 3 at an angle 0 degree is equal to now i out i out means leaving current so leaving current from this node this i1 and i2 these are the two leaving currents from this node so let's write i1 plus i2 so again here we can write this 3 at an angle 0 degree that means we can only write 3 is equal to now we will write this i1 in voltage form so this i1 will be v1 minus 4 vx divided by 20 v1 minus 4 vx divided by 20 plus i2 now this i2 in voltage form v1 minus 0 divided by 20 plus j10 v1 minus 0 divided by 20 plus j10 now let's simplify this here we can see here it is v1 and vx so there are two unknowns so we can find the value of vx by using voltage division rule so by using voltage division rule here we can see in this problem we have to find the value of vx so we will find the value of vx in terms of or we will find the value of we will change this v1 from here directly we will change this v1 in the form of vx so it will be more simpler so according to voltage division rule vx is equal to vx is equal to v1 multiplied with 20 ohm divided by 20 plus 20 plus j10 now we can write this as v1 is equal to 20 plus j10 divided by 20 into vx let's say this is equation number one now we will substitute this value in place of v1 so 3 is equal to put v1 
in equation 1. So, 3 is equal to V1 divided by 20, V1 divided by 20 minus 4 Vx divided by 20 minus 4 Vx divided by 20 plus V1 divided by this plus V1 divided by 20 plus J10. So, now in, in place of this V1, we have to substitute this value. So, 3 is equal to 20 plus J10 divided by 20. 20 plus J10 divided by 20 multiplied with 1 upon 20. This 1 upon 20 into this Vx. then minus 4 Vx divided by 20 then plus now again here in place of this V1 we have to substitute this value 20 plus J10 divided by 20 into Vx or into this 1 upon 20 plus J10 1 upon 20 plus J10 into Vx. So, here we can write Vx. Now, let us simplify this. 3 is equal to 20 plus J into 10 divided by 20 into 20. So, it is 0 0.05, 0 0.05 plus 0 0.025 J into Vx minus 4 upon 20. So, it is 0 0.2 Vx then plus now, this 20 plus J10 and this 20 plus J10 will be, will get cancelled. So, only remaining part is 1 upon 20. 1 divided by 20 is 0 0.05. 0 0.05 Vx. Now, here we can take this Vx common. So, 3 is equal to Vx in bracket 0 0.05 plus 0.025j minus 0.2 then plus 0.05 so 3 is equal to vx into 0.05 plus 0.025 into j minus 0.2 plus 0.05 so, it is equal to minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.025 J 0 0.025 J Therefore, Vx is equal to 3 divided by minus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.025 J. So, therefore, Vx is equal to 3 divided by minus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.025 into J. It is equal to this much in rectangular form. In polar form, this will be shift. 2, 3. So, it is 29.10 at an angle 
माइनस वन सिक्सटी फाइव पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स डिग्री सिंस इट इज अ वोल्टेज सो इट्स यूनिट विल बी वोल्ट्स सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ वी एक्स बाय यूजिंग नोडल एनालिसिस डोंट फॉरगेट टू चेक आउट दी अदर वीडियोज ऑन दिस चैनल एंड थैंक्स फॉर